Korean food flavors and culture have grown in popularity. If cooking with Korean flavors intimidates you, however, we've got some very helpful tips. Mickey's Park, the Korean-inspired restaurant and bar in River North, is here to show us how to add some East Asian flavor to your cooking at home. General Manager LD Manilek is here in the Studio 41 kitchen with more. LD, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. I mean, growing up, it was really hard to find Korean flavors, but now it's really hit the mainstream. Is that why you decided to go into this business? Uh, yeah, we just uh, figured out we wanted to introduce the flavors um, and spread it out in River North. Mm -hmm. um, there was a, a need there, so we decided to pull the trigger and do it. Yeah, because usually you have to go to the suburbs to really get those Korean flavors, but now you're just bringing it right downtown. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's also on Lincoln Avenue up north, and, mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. What did you bring for us today? It looks pretty, it smells very fresh. So we've got our uh, version of our bibimbap. It's our Mickey's bop. And then we've got our uh, K-pop uh, fried chicken. Mm -hmm. What is K-pop fried chicken? So we just cut up uh, some uh, popcorn chicken, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, easy fix, um, deep fried. We have our own dredge that we made. Uh, but it's as simple as using these ingredients, uh, the Korean ingredients. So you got your uh, goju garu, which is uh, the crushed red peppers. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the goju jang, which is their paste. That's the one I was thinking of that comes in the bottle. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay. So. That's good. Goju jang is so good because it's got that spice, but then it's also got that little bit of sweetness yes. too. So yeah. like you're, you keep eating it because it's sweet, but then it keeps getting hotter Again, and then you're yeah, like you start sweating. To sweat. <laughs> yeah. So obviously with this, or this dish over here, you can actually mix it all up together with this. Mm -hmm. And then you add as much as you want um, so, to your own spice level. So what is actually in this? Yes, this so, is the, folks yeah. this is the Phoebean bop, right? Yes. So you've got your rice in there. Uh, you can put really much whatever vegetables you want. Um, we use bulgogi in ours. Okay. Um, ribeye. And then uh, you can use regular kimchi. We actually use a house uh, kimchi pickles that we make in-house. Mm. In and then um, a 60-second egg on top. Oh, I love so. that. So your kimchi, you make that in-house there? The Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, that's nice. That's yeah. not an easy process. No, it's not. And it's. I feel like in the last couple of years, it's really exploded because it's supposed to be good for your gut health. Yes, because too. it's fermented. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, yeah, there was all those studies about how it would, like, cure, yeah. and, you know, keep bird flu away and all of that. So, yeah, anyway. We'll yeah. yeah. And then, so, bulgogi, this is, like, the Korean... Uh, that's what Korean food is really known for, sort of the, the charred meats, yes. right? The cooked meats, so yeah. beef and short rib. Yeah. So you make that there too, and then Yeah, we don't it. have like the traditional where you lay it on your table. Mm -hmm. um, it's all done in our kitchen, and then we bring it out to you. Okay, so is it fast casual? Like how, how's the... Yeah, it's pretty fast casual. Okay. It's very intimate, um, small split, uh, spot. Uh, it's a good time. You okay. Know, good vibes. Because um, it's a bar and restaurant, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it's not just the food. You guys yeah. are you guys doing any specialty cocktails as well? We do. Uh, made with soju. Okay. Uh, it's the Korean rice liqueur. Okay. Number one selling liqueur in the world. Is it really? Yeah. I did not know mm. that. So. Yeah. Usually you get it on the side. It's a little bit like how, how the Russians drink the vodka on the side. Ah. So yeah. you get your beer and then you have your little shots of soju and then you're kind of double fisting it there. Okay. So anyway, but it's. But you guys making cocktails with it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of cocktails does it mix well with? So we've got a lot of fruit juices. Okay. Um, we use uh, vodka, gin, um, and then uh, one of our, um, we had some help and we actually use uh, whiskey. Oh. Yeah, Jack Daniels. So. Interesting. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to try this. Yeah, I'm going to mix this up, okay? Okay, yeah. Traditionally, you're supposed to, well, we're, I don't know where I should put it in there. I'll mix it. Okay, and there's an egg in there. Yeah, that's There's all I'm... little things in there. And there's rice too, right? Oops, sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rice. All the things. All the things. All the things. All right, you're going to try okay. that. I want to make sure we get all the information okay. up, yes, up on the screen do. for the restaurant as well. Thanks so much for coming in. We really oh, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank it you. smells so good. There you go, Mickey's Park, uh, 109 West Hubbard Street. Uh, website's on the screen as well.